dark ale. <laughs> I really dark like, ale? Let's go to Texas. I really like a dark ale. Uh, <laughs> uh, some french fries and pizza. <laughs> It's really like freaky anyway. <laughs> this looks so scary lighting. Horror movie lighting. Horror <laughs> movie. Yeah. Anyway, hello everyone. I'm Abby G. Hi, I'm Ariel. And today we are in Unhengdong. Yeah! We are going to go to Daejeon area. We're going to be in Unhengdong. Yes. Yes. So actually a lot of people when they come to Daejeon, they always go to like Dunsan, yeah, right? Dunsan. But Daehangdong or Unhengdong slash Daehangdong is a very cool place. And yeah. Yeah, we're gonna take you on a little journey of like top places to go in like this area and hope you enjoy. Ooh. Anyway, it's springtime here in Korea, so we just want to show you a little bit of the cherry blossoms. These are yeah. real, right? They look almost fake. Yeah, honestly, we're on a set right now. We're on a set. Yeah, fake, exactly. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful here. And yeah. I think Unhengdong, like Abby said, it's, it, people don't really go here, but there's actually a lot of really cool little bars, For real. restaurants, cafes. Yeah, um, so it's a good time. Neighborhood, so. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go. Oops, that's a biker. Anyway, <laughs> let's go to the first place. Where's our first stop? It is... Called it's called Holiday 7, Holiday 7 Pub and actually we're gonna take you and we'll show you the outskirts but I just want to show you yeah. like look at let's just look at these cherry blossoms like wow <laughs> Damn, I just want to look like that yeah there's like a whole street of them up yeah there. look at that they're so pretty anyway so let's go ahead and walk towards that direction so it's gonna be in that alleyway and we're just gonna pop on over there see you in a bit Anyway, so we've been walking for a little bit, but then, so we're literally right in front of Sky Road. So if you want to see it, there's Sky Road, or if you can see it, it's quite low now. But it's like, you probably can't really tell. Like all of that area, like right there, it's like all the shiny stuff. That's the huge area, Sky Road, like really popular. But that's like where all the middle schoolers and elementary schoolers hang out apparently. Yeah, it's so. kind of where like the young teens go to shop. Yeah, have exactly. Yeah. So we're gonna go mosey on over to the quieter areas and um, go head on to the first stop. You see, it's like, as you can see, there's like really nothing. So let's just walk, let's just walk. Let's just walk. I, yeah. Okay, this looks familiar. Actually, remember, we, I, we walked here, yes. Yeah. This place is getting like really dark and everything, but like, look at this. Isn't that cool? And then, I don't know what this is, a drugstore? Drugstore, oh, we saw this last time. Yeah. It's a little cafe. It's really cool. Uh, is it cafe? Yeah, it's a cafe? Yeah, it's cafe. Can you drink? I don't know. It's a drugstore. It's a drug, actually. Where you go to buy drugs in Korea because those are very much allowed. Exactly. Ooh, look at the light. Oh, oh. there it is, Holiday 7 Pub. So we made it to the, the first stop, which is Holiday 7. This is the Holiday 7 pub. And it's actually like three few floors. Oh, there's the bicycle person. And so this is the front of the building. And it goes all the way like up, as you can see. And there's even a basement and everything. So who knows? <laughs> there's a basement down there. So it's really cool. Hi. Can you even see the mirror? Yes. So we're gonna go ahead in and get some pizza. Yes. We are famished. pizza and then there's also this thing called cream cheese party which I don't know what that means right. very cool place indeed 
So we're gonna look at get some pizza, right? The pizza here, mm -hmm. apparently there's a hundred pepperonis on the pizza, so pepperonis. That's let a us thing. see, let us validate that claim. Exactly, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. But yeah, I think last time Ariel got a cinnamon thing. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was called the Causal Dark with Cinnamon. Mm, right. Yeah. It, how was that? Um, I think it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, if you like sweet kinds of beer. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you like cool. Sweet stuff. Nice. Yeah. All right. So and luckily we're in Korea. There's a button right there. And then we can go ahead and order our stuff. Cool. Are you ready? Yes. They also have gumbas, which I'm intrigued by. And then they also have smoked buffalo wings. Loki would love some either of those. So yes. yes. Let's get the pizza for sure. How about yes. that? And then what do you want? You want to get wings also? There or? might be enough food. That's no. true. We're also gonna go to the other place, Deuce Tap, so we we'll figure it out. Let's just get pizza. Then. Let's just get pizza. Yeah, Maybe yeah. another day. If you wanna try this place, get wings yourself, so it's okay. <laughs> you can do it yourself. You can do it and tell us how it is. Okay, so we're gonna order. Do you know what beer you want? Waterfall Pale Ale looks pretty hey. good. Hey. 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 Uh, hey. What do you want? Waterfall Pale Ale. Hey. Um, um, all right, so we have our beers. Wow! Yeah! Which one did you get, Ariel? So I got the Unhengdong wheat. Wit. Okay, cool. Um, wit. And I got the waterfall as a pale ale. Waterfall so. pale ale, I think. Mm, nice. They also gave us these nice little crackers with some sort of dip right. at the bottom. I don't know what this oh, is. Oh, there's a dip at the bottom? Yeah, there's like. I can't tell. It's almost like butter. Interesting. It's butter. It's probably just butter. I think honey butter. Oh, honey butter chips. Okay. Not like Chester's Roadhouse, but mm. close enough. We missed those. I mean, speaking of America, I think last time we were here, they tried to like mm. tell us they were trying to make this place like Brooklyn area style yeah. with the pizza, but pizza's still pretty good, but not like you said. It's like super. It's not really New York style. I would right. say it's like a little bit too sweet. It's like a Korea sweet. Oh. You know what I mean? Right. No. But it's still pretty good. And like I like the mm. beer and everything. Yeah, the so. beer is good. Um, and also last time, yeah. they gave us this free service of yeah. french fries and a milkshake. Wild. It was like, you know like it's a thing in the US where like we dip our french fries in ice cream or milkshake. Oh yeah, my favorite. So that was, that was a good time. It was really so. nice. Anyway, cheers. Let's cheers. have our first drink. Yay! Yeah. That was such a small cheers. <laughs> Abby! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> that was the tiniest clink ever. <laughs> it was like, can we redo that? Clink. It was like this. <laughs> it's like if um, beers were socially distancing themselves. Yeah. They're just like, <laughs> they're like, mm, they're mask wearing. No high fives. No high five. Yeah. Air fives. That's funny. Mm. Oh, I like mine. Pretty good. Mine's Chris. Mm, let's um, let's try. It. Yeah, you want to try it? Yeah. I don't even know the difference like what an we're, AL we're versus... We're being COVID safe, don't worry. Yes, it's fine. we're all good. Ooh, I like yours a lot. I was like yours more. Do you want to switch? Just switch. Right? Yeah, that's the Unhang Dong wheat. Yeah. Wait, Wait, so it's like, it's obviously like local to the area. So yeah, yeah. Daejeon's got a beer scene, it seems. It so. really does. Mm. Our pizza's here! Yeah! And they gave us fries! They gave us free fries! It was literally on the house. I is it every time we come here as foreigners, they give us fries? We're gonna have to test this. Okay, so We're this is the second time, and they've already given it to us on the house. They remember us? They, they remember did. Us? Cause like I messaged him on Instagram, the owner, or the person behind all the on the house stuff, and then they're like, yeah, please vlog, and they're they were expecting us, and then maybe this is a thing, but I don't know. Uh, results may vary, but um, so far, two out of two free service French fries. Exactly. So. It's pretty good. So I recommend coming here, especially, I guess, if you're a foreigner. Like, yeah. what they want is to, like, more foreigner people to be here, it seems, because, like, it's like, Brooklyn style. Brooklyn style. Yeah, that's what they're wanting. Getting a little active. Like, looking at all the people here, I think we're the only... Foreigner, yeah. I mean, there could be Asian Americans, but we don't know. True. I, I would say, judging generally, we're probably the only foreigners. And also, the, I don't think this is really a foreigner bar. Yeah, it's really yeah. tucked in, honestly. Like, yeah. it's pretty poppin', but like, no one knows really about this place. Like, it's not really advertised, I feel. Like, yeah. when I looked at the Instagram, like, none of my like mutual friends follow it. Yeah, probably not. It, yeah. it seems like it's really popular, but with Koreans. So right, I'm sure right. It's like all over Korea Instagram. Right. But so far. Yeah. So let's look at the pizza. 
Look at that. Okay, are you ready to count? Do you think we can, okay. we can do this? Yeah, so this is supposed to be like a hundred pepperonis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. See, they gave us free fries and they gave us extra pepperoni. So imagine that. Wow. Wow. All right, so let's go dig in. Let's taste it if it's Brooklyn style. But if not, I'm happy either way. So oh. I wonder if they have ranch here. Do Brooklyners eat? Um, That's true. Ranch? Is that a Southern thing? Yes. Wi-Fi. No password. Yeah, the Wi-Fi is no password. See, it's even you don't even have a password. It's like so chill here. We haven't had dinner yet, so. last time. Interesting. Maybe they were expecting us. They were like, we have to make it really we good. We have to perfect our, yeah, our pizza. Yeah, it's really good. It's cheesy. Yeah. It's um, still a little bit sweet for like American standards, yeah. but um, it's good. Maybe they're trying to be extra sweet to us today. Let me try taste this these fries. They look like they have some some seasoning or maybe it's parsley. It looks quite crisp. <laughs> right, quite crinkly and crisp. So let's dip it. Mmm. Mm. What does Chef Abby think? It's quite crispy because you know, crinkle fries are really difficult to come by. Sometimes they're soggy, right? Sure. Those are thick, but this was holiday seven pop. Got it. Nice. Mm. I also do love a soggy chip though, I will say. All right. A soggy, a soggy french fry. I mean, we are all like love here, no judgment here, so mm. I understand. But let's keep that to yourself. Ju I think no judgment, but I'm judging either way. You're like the least judgmental person I know, but when it comes to soggy french fries, specifically like, those, you're like, no. Keep those in your pants. Yeah, do not show that to me. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and enjoy this nice little pizza dish, and then we're gonna take you to the next one right after. Coming back from Holiday Seven, <laughs> Holiday, Holiday Seven, Seven Pop, which is really great. We definitely are gonna try again, try to go again, and see if they give us fries like one more time. Yeah, service, service every time. And then, so this place, if you can see it, it's like very reminiscent of like Waffle House, mm. like the the sign, not the actual place. Yeah. So this is toast. And around this area, like if there's a, you see the people over there, there's a little place called Palza. It's a salon pub thing, and apparently it's a taco house. Yeah. So what we'll is that about? That. I don't know. We can even pass by it. Oh, there's even outdoor seating. So Very nice. Tacos. Mm -hmm. Yes, taco club. Very indeed. So oh, it looks wow. really nice. I heard that that's like even they have a foreigner exchange like talking spiel here, Ooh. but we'll see how it is. Yeah. Can you see it? It's really cool. I like the music a lot. Oh my god, the music is like after sex. <laughs> It's very it's good cool. music. It's a good music. It's a good vibe. So we can definitely check this out another time. But we're not gonna eat here. We have a lot. But if you are, if you're ever, ever in Dijon, please come here. And tell us how it is. So. <laughs> and we're on our way to the second stop which is Deuce Taps but right now we're like in the middle between Unhengdong and Daehungdong so actually we're stopping by like a really important place like it's, it's just Starbucks but um, <laughs> this Starbucks is really special and I'll tell you why the Starbucks here it's going to be it's R it has an R as you can see I'll keep walking because there's people here anyway so this Starbucks has an R. Reserve. Reserve. Starbucks Reserve. So I learned like a few years ago, like apparently if, if a Starbucks has an R, it's special because it has a bar. And like, so they have, they can serve a bar inside and they have like very specific, like 
drinks that you can get served in. Like it's very fancy. But we're not we're not gonna go in. But anyway, just so you know, maybe I'll even I'll put a photo right now, like right now. That's what a Starbucks inside with a, with a, with an R looks like. Nice. Nice. It's like a lot more special. Anyway. A lot look. more special. Do you like, what do you know about um, Dae Hong Dong? Dae Hong Dong, it's like the lesser known cousin of Wun Hang Dong. It's ah. like right next to it, but um, it's a lot quieter. It's right. a lot better for like cafes, yeah. cute little restaurants, yeah. that sort of thing. But um, I actually prefer it to Wun Hang Dong. Really? Yeah. 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 Dae Hong Dong is a lot more quiet. I mean, there, it is a part, there's a section where it's like really lit and yeah. popping, but once you get out of that, there's a lot of small pockets. Like later on, we're gonna go hit up a place called uh, Bidol. Cafe yeah. Bidol? Oh, Cafe Bidol, yeah, yeah. It's my favorite. Yeah. It's a nice little cafe, but it has like a lot of cool like books. Yeah, little knickknacks. Yeah. Um, and also, it, this is where our tattoo artist is. Uh, yeah, Bora. Bo Bora. Or yeah. like Bonnie on, ta Bonnie. on um, tattoo. We'll like, link yeah. it below. We love Bonnie. Yeah. Yeah. Shan Chim Dong. Oh, this is the dessert one. This dessert is very famous. So this is the dessert area, but there's a famous one in Daejeon, like yes. the bakery bakery. It's like the most famous one. Right. We're going to do that in another video. You but know what? I actually, my co-teacher told me that apparently Sun Chim Dong gives all these vendors right, right. here um, free water and bathroom what? stuff. What? Like they can, they can come to the bathroom. That's cool. Yeah. Wow, they can come to the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. Sun Chim Dong's really um, generous. That's really nice. They take care of people, so. Uh, anyway, we should probably cross though. So like, look, yes. we're crossing right now. Wow. Wow, look at us. Yes, so there's a big, you can see, there is a big street. Very nice. And literally, right before all of that, there's going to be chaos. 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 <laughs> Say it three times. Look at all these people. Chaos. Like all these people are flocking. And we do realize, you know, it's COVID. So we're not going to try to like go to any of the restaurants that are in this area. But we're walking through so you can like get an understanding of like Dae Dong. Because like maybe after COVID, you'll be able to come afterwards. And open air transmission is incredibly low. Yeah. Right. Um, so a lot of people sit outside. Yeah. These days. If you can hear us, like look, look, it's just popping now, so it's very different yeah. and everything. Windows are open. You know. Yeah, everyone's sitting outside. Look at this. There's so many people. Korean wine club. What is that? This is new. That's new. Yeah, it's new. That looks nice. It looks expensive. Yeah. Uh, Lee Sang. What's Lee Sang? Oh, that's been there. Uh, I don't know. Well, it looks nice. It's been there. Oh, let's see. Don't work that way. Because... Anyway, so as you can see, Dae Hong Dong has a lot of areas. Areas? Um, little sections. Little areas? sections, yeah. yeah. Like there's even a park area. Like I've yet to see any performances, but uh, yeah. it's like, look at that. There's a big... <laughs> Yeah, since Corona, it's been a little bit uh, quiet over there, um, performance-wise. Right. Okay, uh, vending machines. Right. So if you are on your way home, you're rushing, you need to get a bouquet for your loved one. Right. Uh, you can just pop these out. <laughs> yeah. And get flowers. Very interesting. And there's I have also like surprise ones where it's like you buy one. It's like a random one. So if you just, you're just feeling lucky, you can get one. So. Yeah. Yeah, very very specific to yeah. Korean culture, but uh, lovely. lovely, lovely. All right, let's go to do steps. Remember when we came here once for French fries? Yes, it was just French fries. I think it was just, like, just French fries. Yeah, and we wanted beer specifically, beer and French fries. I think it was like a thing That's in the like place. The first time we hung out, what a month. right? We talked about the way like where our friendships worked, and then like. Aww. How we like connected people on different levels. So oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> I remember. I'm just kidding. Uh, I remember too. But wow. anyway. So. Whoa! It's there's so many people. Ariel, I'm scared. Yeah. Okay. Um, a little bit agoraphobic. That's fine. Agoraphobic. Agoraphobic. That's a word, right? Yeah, it is definitely a word. Whoa! There's a lot of people in this area. Wow. 
Okay. We're trying to get away from all the people, but just so you know, this is Daehangdong area. Damn, there's so many places. Yeah, this is a lot busier than it normally is. This is, I feel like this is busier than Dunsan. Yeah, I think there's a lot busier. Yeah, like this has this place has way more to offer than Dunsan. Look at that. There's an alleyway. Is it this way? There's a lot of izakayas around here. All right. Yeah. See, look how how much that's changed. Like the quietness and the. Yeah, just pop down an alley. Yep. Look at all that. Goose Island's here. Here. Do taps. Uh, oh, it's do taps. I guess not. And look at these chickens. What a cute place. Are they eating chickens? They have chickens. It's the last dinner, but they're chickens. But they're eating chickens. Oh, that's Now we are sitting down, we have sat down now. So we're going to look at the menu. It's so huge. Look at this menu. Can you even see it? It's like a whole it's like a whole book. Right. Of stuff. Yeah, they have stuff on draft and they have bottles, so it's like a lot. Yeah. There's the Bourbonic Plague. Bourbonic? Vlad the Imp Ailer. Ha 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 ha. Goose Island Lolita American Sour Ale. Or the Stone Sublimey Self Righteous Black IPA. Self Righteous. So Self -righteous. if you're feeling it, get this one. And these are just bottles. Yeah, these are bottles. Some of these are a little bit expensive. Like this one is like 80000 Right, right. Um, but most of them are not that expensive. Yeah, I think for my, because we, we've been here for a couple times now, and like, if you want to have like good beer, like quality stuff and like craft, they even, they even have like, what is it? Like Terra, like different kinds of Terra on draft. Let's see, I kind of want to see the ones on draft. May I? Plan B, Farm Brewery, Plan B. <laughs> so if you're having a night, yeah, so you, you need all something. The plan stuff. B is a perennial coffee stout. Mm, like these are just good. pages of craft beer. But in the meantime, while we choose, while Ariel chooses, I'll think about one. Oh, let me show you, let's show you the ambiance of this place. So if you can see, look at us. It's like we're in the corner. This is the outside right there. Oh. And here is the around the area. Like all that. It's really cute. And there's even a projector. Look at that! There's a projector up there! So maybe they even have movies! Yeah! So here, you can walk around, get a feel for it. It's really nice. Like, they even have this thing, which I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. And... All the beers! So many beers! Wow! So many beers! Just keep going. Wow. And like it's really nice. So if you love the beers, I think they even have like wines as well. I think. All oh, the coasters, so many coasters, and look at all that. So many cool things. Wow, this place is awesome, and very good snacks. Yummy stuff. Wow. So you can see all the kind of coasters for all the kinds of beers that they have. And now let's order some beer. Okay. What do you want, Ariel? I think I'm gonna get the Brooklyn Lager. Brooklyn Great. Pizza, Brooklyn Lager. We're gonna we're keeping on a Brooklyn kind of vibe tonight. Yes. I have yet to know what I want. I like Big Wave. Do they have Big Wave on a uh, tap? I kind of oh super IPA. Oh Craft Bro super, super IPA. Super. IPA. That sounds pretty cool. Okay. We're gonna order. Chumin Hakeo. <laughs> I have nothing to add. <laughs> um, yes. Um, we are both leaving Korea soon and we wanted to make some vlogs to just kind of right, show right. off Daejeon and you know I feel like a lot of people who make this kind of content are new to Korea which is fine you know yeah, they're excited but I think it's it's nice to hear from people who've been here for a while right. and kind of know the smaller locations yeah. that you might not normally know to go to. Um, so it's nice. Hopefully yeah. we're veterans, I suppose, at this point. So yeah. hopefully 
yeah, we most, can yeah. share our knowledge. We've only been here for two years, but I feel like that's usually the, the sweet spot for most Veterans. people in Korea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. most people usually stay one or two years. Yeah, right. Leave. All right, anyway, now the camera is broken. So <laughs> no, now no. But we got our stuff though. We got the Brooklyn Lager, which is what Ariel got. Yes. As you see, Brooklyn Brewery. Mm. And then, I don't know what I got. Oh yeah, it comes in the glass, doesn't it? Yeah. They have their own unique glasses. Oh, Wonder Paleo. Yeah, see, they all have, it's really nice here. Mm. It's very stuck. Cheers, Ariel. It's been a long day. We did a we lot did a today. Lot. Yeah, we just rock lemon and... Oh, that's good. That's good beer. K.O. <laughs> Abby's out. Oh, Abby's oh my Abby's, God. I think we're both getting tired. We have one more place we wanted to hit tonight, but we're both getting pretty we're tired. Really tired. We yeah. can always do another time. Daejeon has a lot of craft beer places. Yeah, yeah, surprisingly so. I never see that mentioned on any kind of like yeah. map or anything, right. but it is, it is full of craft beer. Like I looked it up actually early today, like, oh, Daejeon craft beer. And it's just like how to make craft beer. <laughs> and that's it. And Daejeon has a craft beer festival, but that's only like once a year. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was huh. before COVID I've been there. It's really yeah. cool. Yeah, there used to be a wine festival too. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably anyway, the best. Yeah, we'll list the places at the end of where we hit up and then we'll in the, another video we'll show you the rest of the Dong and Ng Dong. But yeah, this is really fun. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Abby likes to cheers. Mm. That's the thing that happens. If you go drinking with me, literally any moment it's a cheers. So <laughs> I went to the bathroom. Cheers. Time to cheers. Time to cheers. Wow, you woke up today. Cheers. cheers. Actually, that's a big feat. It is. You know what? No. It is a big feat. You woke up today. No, I mean, <laughs> I mean it. Be proud of yourself. Exactly. Especially yeah. during these times, these trying times. Cheers to that. Yes. I was saying to the camera while you walked away, I was like, this is time for a motivational speech. So I was like, <laughs> okay, everyone, please understand. It's Corona time and these times are hard. And hopefully if you're coming to Korea or if you've just been here, but you've been in lockdown this whole time, um, hopefully you'll find the things get better. Yeah, get better. Yeah. Watch, go to these places when you want to, when you can uh, safely, because we are doing these on safe, social distancing measures. Like yeah. as you can see, we're apart enough and then we have our QR check when we get in. So less than four people. Exactly. Yeah. So we're okay. And like we've been yeah. doing, now you haven't been doing this, but like we've been careful. So yeah, we don't normally do this. And this is one of those things that like when we do do it, we're very careful exactly, with it. Yeah. Um, and we want to show that it is possible. So that's why there's also a video because you know, you yeah. can still enjoy these things, but be careful and safe, obviously, and not reckless. And so. if you're watching post COVID in like a year or so from now, um, What's that like? Please. Yeah, let us um, know in the comments. Yes, because I want to know. Yeah. What is the world like after COVID? Exactly. Is there an after COVID? There'll be like a very interesting time capsule. So, yeah. Let's do that. so yeah, we're dating ourselves with this. Yeah. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like it enough, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Follow Ariel at Ariography. <laughs> Ariography on Instagram. It's A R I dot ography. Right. Like photography. Amazing, right? And she's really great stuff, really great art as well. So please follow one of my best friends. Oh my god, you're gonna do this again to me. Yes, I am. Um, and you can follow Abby at Abs Garcia, A B S Garcia. That is uh, G A R C I A. I got it. Yeah. It's okay. I hope it's Abs Garcia. It, right? So we're out here. We out here. And if you're like, you know, want to be queer, this place is. We'll have another video about like queer stuff and like different places to visit. Two queers drinking beer. Exactly. Like two queers drinking out beer. Here. That's a podcast name. That is a podcast. Two queers drinking beer. <laughs> we, should, we could do that and just like have conversations. Actually, mm. we're gonna have that for another set for another oh, time. No. We're not gonna we're not gonna tell you all in this one video. You're gonna have to watch, like, and subscribe for us to tell you the next thing. So anyways, okay. we'll see you next time. Anyway, have a good night or have a good whatever time you are and enjoy your life. Be safe. Bye. Bye, be safe. Hello, my name is Ariel, um, I have nothing to say to you people. Hello, hello, okay, so, oh, what is that? Sorry. It's my juice. Oh, that's your juice. Abby, what you doing? <laughs> so I got a pepperoni and I got a fry and I'm going to put it together. It's a... Pepper pigs, fry. Pepper fry or pigs in a blanket fry. Oh my god. Mm. Yum. Yummy. Ooh. Or, so in Tallahassee, oh there's my god. Um, <laughs> a coffee college town.
there's a place, the pizza is called Stoner Pizza at oh Gumby's Pizza. It's literally on the pizza, pepperoni, sausage, fries, cheese sticks, onion rings. But this is the closest thing that we're going to do today. So, Tallahassee, no. this is for you. To represent. Represent. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>